Mangwanani. Masquerade say. Makadin. We are the Katillos. Nice to meet say. What are we doing? So in today's video, we're going to be testing how well Farai knows Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I think I know it fairly well. Uh-huh. You guys, I think, should answer these questions as we go along. And let's find out how well you know Zimbabwe as well. So where are you getting your questions from? So I'm getting my questions from a trivia game online. Okay. We'll link it down below if you want to play along as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, so there's about 20 questions, so we'll go through this quickly. Mm. At least I'm sure I'll get 50%. At least. At least. All right. First question. Yeah. The ancient ruins of Great Zimbabwe are found about 29 kilometers from what major city? Bulawayo. Correct. Bulawayo mfana ho. Bulawayo wantu tuzatu. Ho mama ngzere. Ho mama na mta ngzere. Kwinela bantaba. Gishoyena. Gishoyenu bulawayo mafafuge. Nchengan. Nchenge tawa. What large man made lake is also near the ruins of Great Zimbabwe? Large man made man made lake. Yeah. <sighs> Chivero, is it? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Incorrect. What is it? Lake Bikita. Okay. Next question. Oh gosh. Bait Bridge on Zimbabwe's Bait South... Bridge. Bait Bridge on Zimbabwe's southern border crosses what major river? Uh... Zambezi? <laughs> That's your final answer. Uh... yes. Incorrect. What is it? Save river. Save save river. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, I think Savi. Savi. Okay, anyway. Okay, okay save. So what is All right, savvy? Right. <laughs> okay. Mm. The national park covering fourteen thousand six hundred square kilometers is Zimbabwe's largest. Some of the most important camps, including Main Camp, Robbins Camp, Natwich Camp, and Sin Sinamatela Camp. Are there? Name this camp. Wangi. Incorrect. Camp? Yes. I give up. Yeah, Wangi National Park is the biggest for sure. No. Incorrect. What is it? Matombo National Park. waterfalls in the world sorry one of the largest waterfalls in the world this waterfall lies between the Zambezi and was discovered by, doc, by Dr. David Livingstone mm. what is it? Victoria Falls! incorrect next question ah uh, no what's that what's that it's actually Vic Falls Idiot. <laughs> Vic is short for Victoria Falls. It's actually Vic Falls. Yes, Vic. We're looking for the correct Vic, answer. Vic Falls and Victoria Falls. Ah, yeah. Pinpoint answer test. Oh, yeah. Masia Tunya. So what do you want? Two out of six. Two out of six. All right. A large number of balancing rocks can be found outside of what major Zimbabwean city? Ah, uh, not those rocks. Uh, uh, give me a clue. Give me a clue. What does it start with? Come on. Give me a freebie. What does What does it start with? H. Arare. Incorrect. 
Yeah, okay. We have had a good one there, Cold. Those, I know those. <sighs> Question seven. Mm. The large national park in Southeast Zimbabwe was named for the for the large number of elephants that can be found there. What's the name of the park? The number of elephants. Jo. Mm. <laughs> no, it's it's Gonare Jo. Incorrect. What is it? It's Gonarejo National Park. Ah, no, it's in the. Uh, 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 nah. We're looking for pink. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Boo, yeah. Three out of. Is it four I'm out of six? <laughs> it's three out of seven. Uh, uh, three yeah, out of Gonare seven. Gonarejo National Park. Boo, yeah. The something highlands are lush forested mountains where coffee, tea, and lumber are produced. The what? Something highlands. Ah. Uh, I give up. Oh, you, you. Yeah, yeah, I give up. Okay, uh, incorrect. Uh, yeah, yeah. I give up is not the correct okay. answer. The correct answer is Eastern. Eastern Highlands. Yes. Mm. Okay. So that's three out of eight. <laughs> Let's go. Nine. Yeah. At 2,592 meters, the mountain is the tallest in Zimbabwe. Oh. We need an answer, sir. Give me a clue. There's no clues. <sighs> Damn. It starts with M. Four, three, two. Incorrect. Yes. The correct answer is Mount Mutarazi. Mount Mutarazi. Correct. Tell us Mount Zimbabwe. This fish is popular, is a popular game fish in the highlands, especially in the Nyanga area. Nyanga. That's what I said. <laughs> yep, what is it? You're correcting me, but you should be asking. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's, the what's, what's the fish? So it's a fish. Yes. Popular. Is it a brim? Incorrect. Popular game fish in Zimbabwe. You've already put in your answer. Okay. The correct answer is sunfish. Sunfish. Okay. So that's three out of ten. <laughs> Thirty percent. This large lake was created on the Zambezi River in the 1950s by the British government to generate electricity for Zambia and Zimbabwe. Kariba. Correct. That's four out of eleven. Boy. Yeah, we're aiming for 50%. We're aiming for 50%. Mm -hmm. Found near Kariba Road, this large cave system known for sleep is known for sleeping pools is a beautiful attraction near Chinoy. Uh, Manapus? Incorrect. For sleeping pools? Yes. What is it? Chinoy Caves. What the hell? Next question. For sleeping pools? Yes. Found near Kariba Road, this large cave system known for its sleeping pools <sighs> is a beautiful... Horrible, horrible way for the question. Next, next. 13. Yeah. What is the beautiful resort hotel found east of Mutare that resembles a Scottish moorland castle? It is also known for its golf course and its casino. Ah, pass. Leopard Rock. Leopard Rock. These red...
four, four out of 13. These red sandstone cliffs are found in the southern east, in southeast Victoria along the Rundé River. This red what? Red sandstone cliffs. Pass. Chivirira cliffs. Okay, next. This bridge over the same river was at one time the second largest suspension bridge in the world. It's very sim similar in appearance to Australia's Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, uh, should, uh, I don't know the bridge. I don't know. <laughs> What's the name? Incorrect. What's the name? What's the name, Kat? The correct answer is Birchenhof. Birchenhof Bridge. Bridge. Okay. That's our last answer. So that's what? 4 out of 15. I thought you said there's 20. No, there's 15. Damn. Well, you were asking, asking me useless questions. No, I wasn't. Who are waiting? No, man. So 4 out of 15 is how much? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pass your man, did you? Twenty-six <laughs> percent. Ah, wow, wow, wow. That's pretty so bad. So you failed. Hey, but the real winner is us because we learned something cool. We learned something about our country. Is there another one? Is there another one so I can redeem myself? Another one. Another quiz. Let's have a look. You would have gotten zero out of me. No, some of these are new. Uh, do you want me to question? From reading do you want me to question you? I've already seen the answers. Uh, you know, but if you can find another quiz. How about I question you with my own questions from my own head? How about that? How about that? Go. Hey, I know, I know. I'll say shit. So you, because you think I'm making up the, I'm making up fake stuff. Okay. Is the capital city of Zimbabwe? Harare. Mm hmm. Good. What is the population of Zimbabwe? I wanted to know oh, that. I mean, in the beginning of bridge. What's the population of Zimbabwe? You don't even know your Google search. I, I know the population of Zimbabwe. What's the population of Zimbabwe? I'd say it's around 15 million. I'll say it's about, it's about 17 million. 17 million? Yeah. Population of Zimbabwe is 14.65 million. <laughs> what is the Independence Day of Zimbabwe? 26th of April. 18 April. Question number three. Mm. Can you name the big five in Zimbabwe? The big five animals in Elephant, Zimbabwe. Elephant, lion, um, is it a hippo? I don't know, you're the one uh, asking. No, elephant, lion, um, giraffe? <laughs> yeah, that's your final question. No, 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 elephant, lion, what is that water? Water buffalo or something? I don't know, ma'am. You tell me. Elephant, you know lion, water buffalo. Um, cheetah. I don't know, ma'am. You're the one answering. Elephant, lion, water buffalo, cheetah, and I'm leaning towards giraffe. So I just said giraffe. Buffalo. Uh, I remember. I'm look. I'm trying to look at the bit. The I remember. I have a big. I had a big five T-shirt. So I'm trying to m remember what those animals look like on the T-shirt. And I don't remember whether I saw something. I have name it. And I'll, I'll say. I'll just say giraffe. Giraffe. You said what? Elephant. Giraffe. Lion. Elephant. Giraffe. Lion. Water. But or oh, that buff. Not buffalo. What's it called? That that one with the horns. I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. That one with the horns. What a buffalo. Actually, it's the lion. 
The leopard. I was right. The rhinoceros. That's it, a rhino. The elephant mm -hmm. and the buffalo. I was right. No, you were not. Where giraffe? Blah, blah. You were just guessing, mate. No. You were guessing. No, I was. I will skip that. Can you tell me? Can you name two soccer players in the current Zimbabwe national soccer team? Name one. I don't know any. I know the Zimbabwean soccer team. One. Emerson. Emerson. Yeah. Emerson. Are you? Benas him like that. Why did I? Emerson who? Take more. Take more. All right. Who's the president of Zimbabwe? Current president of Zimbabwe. Munanagwa. <laughs> Munanagwa. That's it, right? Isn't it? it is here. Yes. That's what I say. That's how you. That's how you. Munanagwa. Munanagwa. Who's the vice president? Chiangwa. Is that your final answer? I don't know who the vice it's president is. It's Chiwenga. <laughs> Chiwenga. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough. Thank you for watching. Not even I'm, funny I'm proud of my 26%. I'm gonna work on it. Mine is higher than yours. Uh, ish. Because I wasn't keeping score, but you didn't. Oh my god, you said Chiang was the president. That, that, that. that. No, <laughs> PC, the king of selfies. Who? When did he become the who? PC? Philip Chiangwa, the king of selfies. That's that's who he said is this president of Zimbabwe. That's what he calls himself. The king Ooh. of selfies. Philip Chiangwa, the one he said is the is the president. Ah. <laughs> I don't know the king of selfies. <laughs> so okay, there we go. <laughs> we have proved that we've been a lot to learn. I think you did well, considering you left Zimbabwe when you were grade one, is it? No, I hadn't even gone to school. You left you Zimbabwe? Four. You were four. So you did pretty well. And I didn't get to go to high school in Zimbabwe. So maybe if I'd gone to high school, you know, bah, 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 my 26% could have been 62%. Or 50. 60. Maybe you would have passed. 80. Maybe. But I wanted to give myself. How much did you guys get at home? Tell us the truth. How many questions did you get right out of 15? We hope you had fun. We hope you learned some cool stuff, some cool facts. You know, that is all good. You couldn't have a of bridge there, and there's a sunfish, you know. And I went to visit this Leopard Park Hotel. Sounds like no need I'm being gone. So I wanna, I wanna check it out. But thank you so much for watching our video. Um, from us to you. <laughs> cool. Cool. What? No kisses today. No kisses. Yeah, shame. I'm not ashamed. <laughs>